Okay, so um, so now it's already it's just past three o'clock. So are we all are we all good to go? Okay, perfect. So okay, all right, everyone, welcome to the second event of uh, our our Swadaya and Georgetown Literary Festival collaboration. So and everything you're viewing today has been. Uh, made possible by the kind cooperation of the uh, Goethe Institute in Malaysia. Uh, we're very pleased to have with us Jorg and Toby uh, for the presentation of their book, uh, Friendship. And moderating today's session is Pang. Um, I'm, so I'm William from Garak Daya, and I'm going to be a very quiet observer in the background. So I'll leave the show uh, to the three of you. All right, so I think without further ado, Pang. I'll pass, the, I'll pass this over to you, and uh, we're looking forward to seeing uh, the presentation roll out. Hi, um, so I'm Pang, um, based in Kuala Lumpur, and uh, thanks for uh, inviting me to moderate this session. Uh, as a photographer and curator uh, myself, I have really I really enjoyed this book uh, and the poetry of the images are quite uh, profoundly moving. Uh, some of them very ambiguous and some of them are uh, more uh, obvious, uh, but as a collection, the ambiguities and the, uh, the moments uh, of uh, silence in the spaces between uh, where the ideas of friendship is blurred or even question uh, what does friendship mean in these instances become very poignant for me. Um, especially since this is also a project of collaboration between uh, two countries, uh, Germany and Malaysia. Uh, and also collaboration between two photographers, uh, Tobias and Yo. So I'm very, uh, I'm very happy to be able to present uh, and moderate this uh, conversation. So thanks uh, to our photographers, uh, Tobias and Yerk, for joining us uh, all the way from uh, Germany. I would Hello. Like good well, yeah. yeah. Good morning okay. from Germany. <laughs> yeah. Good morning from Berlin. And I think uh, your, their faces are, uh, uh, you can see them because uh, there's a little window next to the, the book cover. So this I'll just uh, briefly introduce them and I'll actually let them introduce themselves as well as the project. Uh, all I will say for now is that they are both uh, photographers uh, and they, uh, Jörg uh, loves to, uh, his work focuses on reflecting globalization, uh, interested in finding undiscovered locations uh, when he photographs outsiders as well as the day life, the place. And Tobias is uh, works on uh, worldwide on personal artistic projects as well as on assignments for magazines, institutions, and independents. He's been a graphic designer and they came to uh, Penang for this obscure. Uh, or rather uh, for this residency where they, I think they trained uh, photographers and it resulted in an exhibition that traveled the region. So please, uh, Tobias and Jörg, uh, maybe you can introduce yourself better than I'm doing and also tell a bit more about this uh, residency and how that resulted in this book. You want to start, Toby? Yeah, we... <clears throat> We went to, the, to, to, to Penang, uh, Malaysia, the first time in, together in 2016, um, as Jörg got, got uh, invited by the Obscura Festival to host a workshop. And, and he decided not to do it alone. Uh, and he picked me, which I'm very glad about. So <laughs> uh, we traveled to Malaysia in 16 uh, to host this workshop and then um, Came back in seventeen to present the results of the of the of the workshop, and um, as this um, went out quite well, um, we got the chance to to return in 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 the beginning of two thousand nineteen again to 
to do our own uh, uh, residency, our own work here. So, yeah, Björk. Uh, yeah, this uh, it all and it actually started um, uh, with me knowing someone, um, um, Vic Valavingsam, uh, who uh, who's the um, organizer of the Obscura Festival. And this is how we got there. And then um, when we got the invitation by Obscura and by Goethe Institute to come ourselves and um, present the work, um, it was up in the air what we would do. And in the beginning, we thought, you know, two photographers coming, everyone does his own project. But at some point, we thought mm, this is not a good idea um, because we, we worked so closely together in tutoring the, mem um, the participants of the workshop we did before at the festival, um, uh, we thought we, sh we should find a way how we can work um, together on a project, which is not very common in um, documentary, artistic documentary photography. Yeah. It's, a, it's a very, normally a very lonesome job when it comes to photographing. Um, there are co cooperative, but I mean, still all the photographers do their own projects there. So we thought, you know, what could we do what we, where we can work together? And as um, we've been friends for quite a long time before that, and then the, the coming to Georgetown and doing the, the workshop with the young photographers from Southeast Asia um, really strengthened and deepened our, our, our friendship. Um, we thought that could be a, a good theme to work on. And it's uh, also um, a theme that has not been worked on much in photography. I mean, themes like my partner or my family or the history of my family, are very common in um, in documentary photography, but friendship hasn't been looked at um, at least on a more symbolic and um, interpretive level. At least, I mean, there are projects where people show friends, but I mean, we wanted to talk about more the feeling than the actual fact, mm. and um, so we thought that would be. Um, would be an interesting approach um, to do and to come to Penang and then also to do it in that place that was so significant for our friendship the two, the two times that we came there before for the workshop. Yeah also we didn't want to find ourselves in a competitive situation while you know when you when you yeah I mean two two friends having a residency somewhere else and and doing everybody's doing his own stuff and then in the end you would always um, compete you know that's that we, we didn't want that um uh and also we didn't want to to let's say make a reportage on certain issues in malaysia because we are actually not the right persons to do that i mean you have good photographers yourself to cover your own stories so why should we come and and do a reportage on whatever issue that's that that you know felt weird and so we decided to to make our own story in a place that is important to us, which it is. I mean, it plays a significant role uh, uh, in our in our friendship and in, in our lives as well. So um, we took it kind of as a stage. The place is our stage to to investigate feelings and and like that. Yeah. All right. I want to say I, I really appreciate the, the the thought that you put into saying that um, yeah it's not uh, uh, your role as outsider to come in and uh, cover an issue that Malaysian has photographers for as well right and 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 I think you'll be surprised that this doesn't seem to be uh, commonly appreciated by many uh, Western photographers who do come here and and cover their uh, issues, but but I, I appreciate that the the book is more reflexive and poetic uh, and and personal in that sense that it's, it's your journey through this part of the world. So I think on that note, maybe uh, perhaps what we can do is to go through the book and some of your the images, uh, and you can tell the stories uh, about behind some of these images. I may ask some questions. Or if uh, our audiences who are watching this uh, want to ask any questions uh, about the images, they can also just uh, type in the comments. Um, and we can maybe have a bit more discussion at the end. How about that? Yes. yes. Great. Also, I wanted to thank you that you uh, choose your shirt today uh, in the color of the book. Thank you. <laughs> uh, I'm glad you noticed. <laughs> 
<laughs> yes. It's my only orange t-shirt. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. So the first image is actually um, was actually made um, while uh, being in, on the approach to KL, right? It was in, at the end of the flight to from from Berlin to they, yeah. Malaysia. Yeah, or and that's Jörg. That's Jörg. Uh, yeah, the, yeah. The, the thing is actually in the book, as you will discover, we don't um, um, say who does which picture, but with the first picture we just told you now, because it's me on the picture, it's probably Toby <laughs> who took it. Um, yes. Yeah. There are some more of us, so in these cases, it's, it's obvious that uh, the other one took it. Okay, so going directly into it. I mean, um, we were looking for symbolic pictures and, um, and animals kind of um, are, are, are kind of interesting because they are, they are so, so direct and so, so, um, wie würdest du das unverstellt sagen, Jörg? Um, um, I'm spoiled. Yes. In, in, in how they present sure. themselves yeah. and their feelings, right? Yeah. So these two dogs were obviously friends. Um, yes, and I uh, like Toby said, we were looking for a lot of um, symbolic images and some of them are very open in their interpretation, um, what one wants to see in there or, or, or doesn't. I mean, it's, it's more if you if you compare it to um, forms of, of, of artistic writing, this is probably more a, um, um, a poetic um, or oh, it's it's lyric that we that we compose with it. It's not prosa in the sense of that we are telling telling a story or reportage that we are telling something about reality. It's more way more introspective. Perspective. So um, when a photo reportage will tell you something about um, the world outside, I, I believe this book is more about um, the world inside of us. Um, yeah. And the way we went about was, I mean, basically we were two and a half weeks. We were in Penang. Um, we had a um, an artist residency home at the Hin Bas Depot um, or organized by the Hin Bas Depot. And um, we got ourselves two scooters for the two and a half weeks we were on, on the island. And um, um, one of the ideas we had that is that there are these two bridges connecting Penang with the mainland, which in a way, um, function um, um, symbolically like a connection between two people, like a friendship as well. So this is um, um, a theme, the two bridges that comes up in yeah. the book every now and then. Um, uh, and um, but we traveled around the uh, the island a lot, and sometimes to the mainland as well. Um, and um, just went about most of the times we were the two of us together actually. Um, every now and then one went on alone to a place that he wanted to look at, um, like it is in a good friendship, right? You share a lot of time, but there's also a time where you're separate. Um, and, um, and we discovered the place and, and we were always in that mode of, of okay, this is about friendship. Um, we are discovering our own friendship, but also what is, uh, what is friendship in, in, in general? What does it mean to other people? Um, and, and that was kind of the way that we, that we went about and worked on this project. So yeah, on, on the right side, if you go back, um, please one, one more time. On the right side, you see Toby on that scooter. Um, I think this is somewhere on the uh, um, northern east side of, of the, uh, of Penang. West. The right? Yeah. West side. West side. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Towards the street of Malacca. Uh, can we go back uh, to the image of uh, these two persons embracing on the bed? Yes. Tell, tell us about that one. <laughs> um, well, I mean, as, as, it, as, as it goes, when you come to a place like this and you, um, and you work there, you, it's not only the two of us who are friends, but we also met people and we became friends. 
So um, uh, the, the, the person with the red hair is a uh, king who works at uh, Hidden Bus Depot and uh, she was in a way also taking care of us and helping us with the apartment and everything. And we, we just hang around and, and a very good friend of her came visiting from, uh, I think from Gili Islands where she, where she normally lives. And uh, um, yeah, um, th this one is actually staged. Uh, so not all of this is, um, has been found, but I, I asked them to, or one of us asked them to sit there and, and do that <laughs> and do this sim symbolic gesture um, of, of, of friendship. And they were in it um, to do it. And actually also uh, a king appears again in the book, I think like two or three times. So um, there, there's certain, and like in the edit, that was something that was, I mean, we can maybe talk about later a, a bit more about it when you see more of the book, but the editing of the images is really the second part of the work after, after shooting it, editing is, um, um, at least take the same amount of time. Thanks for that. Okay. And obviously King's hair um, influenced us while uh, looking for a color for the book. Huh? <laughs> and, and orange is the, um, is the color of friendship, right? In a, yeah. Um, or... I didn't know that had uh, certain uh, symbolic uh, meanings and, and orange. <laughs> you know, red would would have been too 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 close to love, so we decided not to go that far. So uh, Yeah, there are also these more observed um, photos um, of people by the beach, a um, group of, of older men um, hanging around. Um, but then on the next page, um, I think it's a photo of, um, of um, artists, uh, acrobats, um, also standing symbolically for, for touching each other, staying in connection, um, yes. building a group. <clears throat> but we also didn't shy back from like the um the darker the darker sides of what the friendship can be i mean we all we did we, we wanted to have it ambiguous as you said in the beginning because obviously um i mean friendship generally is a very positive thing for all, for all of us um but there's i mean there's also um in in these forms of um um interpersonal connection and relationship there are also downsides i mean sometimes you you get together and then you separate again there are feelings of um companionship but also of um um uh, concurrence to we um com competition Co competition i mean there are there are these feelings to it and we wanted to show these kind of things as well i mean obviously this the, the image of the of the butterfly is a very a very harm, um, harmonic image, um, but there are others, I guess, like the... Yes, um, like the dead dog. I mean, uh, every one of us uh, has lost friends, you know, and uh, everyone knows how it feels to, to, to lose relationships. So this is also part of all this, all this thing. I also, uh, I also, uh, I also find that it's interesting that in your description of the book, I mean, while while we are touching on this topic, uh, you said uh, the book is described in this way that friendships are the first interpersonal relationships that we ourselves choose. They are neither familial nor romantic relationships, yet some last a lifetime. However. I think some people may also say that friendships uh, is can be familial and can be romantic, or vice versa, right? And yes. and the thing the thing about friendship, is, I mean, what what's very interesting in this sentence is is trying to define what friendship isn't, but yet at the same time there is something about friendship that makes it hard to define. Um, and part of the struggle has always been to define friendship. And in fact, 
I think uh, in romantic, especially in romantic relationship, a lot of men get uh, afraid of being friend zone, right? And they, and they think they see they see as a very clear boundary between being a friend and being romantic. But actually, actually, as, as your book I think shows, it, it, there's a spectrum. There's a spectrum to friendship. Yes. Yes. Right. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, yeah, it can come yeah. very close to 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 a to a romantic uh, relationship. Um, so I mean, yeah, we we separated it from 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 uh, from a ro romantic relationship because uh, this is actually not what we wanted to talk about. But still, um, we know that this can can come very close to it. So I mean, yes, it's open. So and it's ambiguous. Yeah, Jörg. Yeah, um, I, I I think so as well. I mean, it, it is a spectrum, and it's open to on, on both sides to to whatever comes in there. And I mean, as as interpersonal relationships are, I mean, there are probably as many forms of of relationships as there are people multiplied by the number of people they get in relation with. <laughs> um, so uh, uh, so there's yeah. millions, trillions of ways of in, in how people interact and how they organize their interaction with someone else. Um, but there are, there are definitely definitely poles. I mean, there is a romantic relationship. There's something like a, um, a friendship and there is family. And, and, and in between, I mean, I can be best friend with my brothers, um, but I can also um, uh, hate him. So, I mean, there's, there's all, all, all forms in, and in between. So we, there, was, there was the approach to start with us, with our friendship and how this feels and find the universal in there um, that then hopefully can, can, can speak to others as well and their, their idea of, of what friendship is. And as you as you talk about uh, the darkness in friendships, I'm also reminded that there are, of course, friendships that are abusive and exploitative and with terrible power dynamics and toxic. Yeah, I mean, yeah, this didn't come that much. Toby, please. <laughs> no, it's just we all like the two of us. We we the both of us. We we know and we we ourselves had friendships that, uh, that were toxic um, mm. and that, that ended in, at, a, at a certain point. So um, we wanted to, not, you know, we didn't want to, to only show the good sides. That's, I mean, that's not interesting. So right, uh, right. also, uh, also what, what, a, what an impo important point is, is that um, the thing that we really choose ourselves uh, the first friends outside the family, and this is a very, very important step in in your life when you when you become a person, you know. Uh, and that's what what Dirk in this in this text that accompanies the book uh, is talking about this this very moment when you have your you make your first own decisions on people, you know, and you yeah. go outside your 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 family and and find a friend. And this is so important for your for your uh, uh, development as a as a person, uh, mm -hmm. and that's why it can you know you have to to decide as a child how do I relate to that person, and as you only know family relationships at this point, um, this relationship to the first friend can also be very close um, and. Uh, very much like a family uh, relationship. So um, probably this is the thing that's Dirk uh, writing about. So, um, yeah. Oh, that's one. Okay. Yeah. Maybe get back to the process. Um, um, like I said before, um, we don't um, give away, <laughs> in a sense, who did which photo. But we also decided that it doesn't make that much sense um, because the way that we worked was very much so, so much intertwined. I mean, there was certain decisions at the very beginning already that we took um, technical ones where we said, you know, we have to merge our style. 
um, because before that, Toby and I worked independently. I mean, we're both members of the same agency. We know each other for a very long time and we've been working um, um, together on project, but where everyone did his own project and we and we we have very distinct styles as well and how we um, and how we photograph um, aesthetically, um, but also theme wise. Um, but on that one, we we had to we had to get together. So um, technically, we made certain decisions on um, on on how we can approach that um, with what lens we take and and um, and so on, uh, and then just walking around together um, connected us in a way and, and on where we find our focus, what we look at, what we think could be a photo. Um, and then later in the editing, obviously, as well, we, we had to cut away the ones that are, were too much on one side of one person and then find the ones that really um, work well together to make that feel as, as one. That was very important to us. Is that the same orange car, orange hat girl? Yes. Right, right. I, I'm starting to see the the story. <laughs> yeah, for a photo book edit, it's it can be very important to have like not only one narration in there, but like certain ones that come up and down again. So you have a you you get a rhythm. I think it's very very much the same in literature as well, or can be at least. Um, and it worked very well for this book. Um, there, there are um, um, questions coming in in the chat. Should we, should we answer them? I, I do, I do, I already do. Uh, but you, you, you do it by writing. I mean, it would be more right. interesting for the other okay. people as well. Be on, on Facebook, they don't see the, they don't see the chat, right? True. Right. True. Um, so let, let me ask the question. Uh, there is a, so there's a comment that says, uh, and it's from Prakash. He says uh, hi uh, to you all. Hi, Prakash. And, <laughs> yeah. So it sounds like you, you've met each other. Uh, yeah. It's nice to see the book because I know I uh, saw it in bits and pieces, but now more than the ones I've seen. So the question from him, how has your friendship developed after this project? Uh, we are, like I think Toby wrote it, right? We, we are still yes. good friends. Um, this this hasn't changed. Uh, um, it, it, it became deeper. I mean, obviously, we had to we, we had to work on this on, on this book. We, had, we we brought it out. We had a book launch as well, and and all of that. And and I mean, now we have this like almost like monument built on our friendship. Um, we 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 can't break up now. <laughs> um, but um, um, it's uh, yeah, it's it's all good. I think it just deepened. Yeah. even more and um Tobias, do you have, you have anything to add to that or no no okay <laughs> so 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 this is the nature of your friendship uh you can and can speak for you and you can speak for him sometimes <laughs> yes true yeah <laughs> and uh so hadri uh has a question what did the project reveal about your friendship with each other Hmm. Something that we didn't know before, um, I, I, I guess, is where the, the question is pointing, right? Yeah. Okay. Mm. Or a realization, I guess. If there's nothing, or maybe it just reveals that you have been good friends all along. <laughs> I mean, we got, we, got, we, got, we got closer and we, we got to know each other much better than before, but um, there was nothing that was surprising i guess it, it's you know you just get deeper into the other's mind uh, and that's very interesting yeah. it's, um, you don't you don't judge that you know i mean people are different and as you as you come closer um, you see the differences 
and the and the uh, uh, Gemeinsamkeiten. Um, uh, Jörg? Um, the things you share. Yeah, um, the things you have in common, uh, yeah. and you see the differences, and and you look at that and. You say, okay, I mean, that's it. So you are like that and, and I'm like that. So yeah, um, there's no judging. So um, nothing that is, I mean, really we knew each other stuff. quite well before that already. I yeah. mean, doing this this workshop, um, coming twice to Penang was all already, I mean, some working on, and, and we've been working in that, in that agency called Oskreuz together quite a lot um, and also intensively together. And I mean, we, um, I, I've seen um, uh, um, Toby um, growing up his kids. And I mean, there's already so many um, also private um, interactions. And, and, and um, so um, there wasn't so much more. I mean, if that wouldn't have been there, we wouldn't have done the project because then otherwise we wouldn't been sure that we can make it together and go through a process like that, which can be also very exhausting um, during the time of taking the photos, but also afterwards, I mean, um, um, doing the editing for the, for the book and, and, and all of that. So I can't really say this, that I really discovered something new. It just ensured me at least, or, and I think I can talk for Toby as well and what we've seen before. And I can see Elvin. Elvin is coming in. Hello, Elvin. Uh, he, Elvin looks very uh, enthusiastic. Uh, he's shouting your names. <laughs> yeah, Toby. Uh, okay, um, Hadri has a second question, which sounds like a thesis. Uh, so you, you, I don't think you can. You need to answer them as a as a dissertation. But uh, if you want, how are friendships in other cultures different uh, in Penang and around the world? From the observer, I guess. I'm and I and I, I'm I'm not really sure if that's true actually, or that was at least not the approach that we had towards the book because we wanted to talk about friendship as a universal phenomenon, and I think it's very much. It's so um, deep in 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 our in our being as humans. It's so um, cultivated so early, I think, as well, um, that there is something that is there's one idea of friendship which is which you will find everywhere in all of the cultures of the world, because it already started being part of our our human culture way before we separated. And, and I think that was the kind of friendship that Toby and I wanted to talk about. Um, and that's why we also thought it's possible to do it here and look at people from Penang and see the same kind of um, idea in them that we have about friendship. Um, and I think that was our approach. Um, that, that I think there still might be cultural differences. Um, uh, um, but that's m way much more on the surface than what we wanted to talk about. Nice. I think so, we can go further, right? Yeah, with yeah, the images. Yeah. I was just going to say that. <laughs> well, not too fast. <laughs> <laughs> and I and I think that's also something that that um, me at least has I I've always been fascinated about. Um, um, this thing, I mean, there's always this talk about how we are different in Asia and in Europe. And whenever I come to Asia, I see so much more similarities um, than I see differences between the people um, in, in, uh, in Asia and, uh, um, and in Europe. I mean, there's a lot of scenes, I think, in that book that you can find more or less in the same way in Europe or in Germany in how people interact with each other. And... Uh, I mean, I've been playing with my, I mean, these were two young guys um, uh, um, at, at the beach. Um, and I think I've been playing with my friend when I was that age, they were like eight, nine or 10 years old or something. I was playing with my friend when we were at the beach um, in Northern Germany in the same way. I mean, kids are kids wherever they are in the world, right?
Dieser das war was Gutes. Gutes. Ja. Tell, tell us about that uh, open palm with Sego seeds, right? Pardon? That's the, those are those uh, Sego, Sego seeds? Ah, yeah. Yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, we collected them. <laughs> <laughs> it's it, 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 I think if, it, this is probably the most collaborative photo in the whole book, Toby. Yeah. Because we we we, we saw it and then we thought we want to we may want to make an, an image with them, and it's actually my hand, but Toby took the Toby took the photo, so we um, we kind of arranged it, and he uh, told me how to hold their hand, and I was arranging the seats in there. So this one is really. Um, We'd get together. We just really liked them in, in, in their in their shape and color and thought, you know, could be interesting. Um, and seeds are obviously very, very symbolic um, um, for whatever you want to read in there. Also, it refers to, to, the, to the giving and taking thing, you know. Um, looks like a gift to me. I have something for you. Mm. Uh, yeah, I guess. <laughs> nice. Actually, I, I, if you go back to the previous photo, I, I'm always fascinated by uh, photos of people taking photos, right? So, yes. <laughs> so here you are, you are observing a bunch of friends in the process of making a photo, or maybe even a selfie, I think. Uh, uh, a group selfie, which is, I think, one of the ways people are expressing their friendships uh, yes. online these days. Yeah. Yeah, also it's interesting how the the girl in the middle comes between the, the other two girls, so you don't really know what the, what the role of the girl in the middle is. It's interesting because it's, it's not clear, you know, whether they're <laughs> Uh, the, the black ones are, are friends and she's coming in between, you know, or if these <laughs> girls are fr like close friends, I don't know. Oh, we don't know. I mean, being <laughs> friends between two persons is one thing, but then the relationship of, a, of three persons in a circle of yeah. friendship is yeah. always, it becomes very, very different and a lot of times also more complicated because someone always feels left out. Um, I think... But, no. that, but then on the other hand, like for yeah. me in that image, there's also this tenderness, how they how they arrange each other to each other. I mean, yes, she's trying to get me, but the other ones are also, they're not blocking her out. No. And, then, and, and how they're holding, how they're standing there, how she's holding the mobile. And then also in, in combination with the, with the image on the, on the left, I, I think that really, that double spread really feels so tender to me. Yeah, I love it. I love it. It's a, it's a great juxtaposition, especially also talking, looking at how they're standing on the sand and uh, and the sea. So there's this kind of a separation, but the, the the separation is still not a clear separation, right? Because it's, we're talking about waves and shore, and then there's a. It looks like a sunset, or but the, is, the, yeah. the sun is hitting them in the most gentle way from the side. I I I really love this photo. It's very beautiful. Congratulations. <laughs> Let's go. Ah, this one. Oh my God, amazing. Oh. Which uh, which cemetery is this? Do you remember? Uh, that, it was on the mainland. It was mainland yeah. north of the uh, of the northern bridge, but I can't really remember where. I mean, we we went to the mainland and we took the main road up north, and it was on on, on some of the small um, villages or towns that come there when you when you go up north. It's me. Wait, what do you mean? That that's you? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, was, I was just gonna ask, uh, how do you get so close to another person? 
and now I know. <laughs> so there, 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 are, there are a few more comments. Uh, so Pauline uh, says that she loves the Kubo image, uh, the Kubo, uh, the graveyard photo. We lie together even in death, and it mm. evokes the living who care for the grave and remember the departed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I mean, friendship in a lot of ways goes, you know, goes past death and um, the eternal separation in the in the real world, obviously. Uh -huh. And I was corrected. It's not Sego seed, but Saga seed, and. <laughs> And there's a question here. Uh, was orange predetermined color palette or mood for the project, or it came during editing process? Plus, a friendship could be romantic. You've seen it. Ha ha ha, says Azrul <laughs> That That question is coming from Azrul. Azrul, hello. <laughs> uh, uh, actually, we were thinking about the color uh, when we were in in Penang already, um, we were thinking about blue and red, and which could be the right one. And then, as I said, the the king's hair influenced influenced us a lot. So, and then, um, yeah, I, 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 there is uh, there, there there are I mean there are certain colors that come up in the book every now and then. There's definitely a a reddish um, or orange and pink. I mean, there, there, there are a lot of these images, and I, um, and that is I, that wasn't on purpose. We were going like around and saying, you know, we we're now looking for these for these colors. But I would assume no. that just being in that world and, and 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 associating so much with the idea of friendship and and being close to another person, feeling warmth. I mean, then probably subconsciously these these colors come up and you you just start looking for these kind of things because they feel right um um yeah and in, in, in a way these three guys are the 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 male um opposite to the yeah. to the girls on the beach right <laughs> they are so tender and they go like <laughs> They are like posing for a band uh, yeah. album cover. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, nice. Like for me, also this the the, um, the man on the on the right side um, with the white shirt. Um, the 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 moment um, this image was taken, I I, I felt like um, he's the one who survived. Like all his friends have gone, and he's the one um, who's who's still there. This is how he felt to me. He felt so old and and in a way also so alone. Um, that for me, he was that person who was um, who's left and who's still there. All all his friends have died, and and he's there. He's the, the last one who's who's still around, um, waiting to be reunited with his friends, maybe in his afterlife. And I and I and I don't only think that this is a sad idea. I also think it's very beautiful. I agree. That's a that's a lovely way to think about it. I mean. I mean, ultimately, the the story of friendship is also a story of loneliness, right? About this journey through life, right? And and finding someone, anyone, yeah. Mm. Mm. And letting go. I think it's also a lot about stories of letting go and meeting again. Yeah. Let's continue. Mm. 
Of scooter as well, I guess. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I noticed there seems to be a trend of the men facing the camera, but the women's uh, are, are shot from the back or the at the side. <laughs> yeah, maybe. I mean, there's also the the there's the, the the question also came up um, when we talked about two other people about this book, um, in how much this book can actually talk about generally about friendship, or if whether this book is more about male friendship. Um, and obviously, in a way, yes, it is because we're both men and, and we have a, a man friendship. Um, but then again, I, I would come I would come back to the thing that I said before. I mean, we, we try to approach it to find this more universal approach to it. And, um, and, and I think we both agreed on the fact that this isn't a really masculine book in, a, in, the, in the cliche of, uh, um, of, of the idea what masculine is. Um, so, but still, I mean, we look differently, the two of us would look differently at women as we look at men. I mean, this is just the nature of things. And, um, and, and I mean, um, we, we take that openly around with us. So, um, um, we shouldn't hide that, I think. So yeah, now this is actually the the end of the of the image section uh, um, section of the of the book, and um, then um, in the last part there is this um, essay by um, our good friend Dirk Giesemann that we invited afterwards um, to write a to write a text for this book, um, on which Toby can probably give a, a short um, introduction to the text. Yes. <clears throat> Dirk is a is a as Jörg said a good friend of of uh, of the both of us, um, and when we finished this this uh, residency and were on our way back, we learned that he was very much in trouble, and and um, and then actually immediately decided okay he is actually the guy who should who should write on this topic, um, and he did. Um, uh, he he did write a text about his very first very deep um, friendship he, uh, he had with with a boy from from his village, and and how they how they experienced their lives, and then how they slowly separated uh, from each other again, and that uh, and he summarizes that. Nowadays, when he when he meets new people, he would always um, and uh, vergleichen, um, compare compare friendships to this very first friendship. You know, is it as deep as this one? Um, yeah, that's very interesting. So this text um, obviously refers to the to the as I said before. Uh, to the thought that um, that friendships are the first relationships that we choose ourselves. Um, yeah, Dirk Giesemann is a German writer. He 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 writes for for magazines and is actually uh, uh, writing on his first novel uh, in the moment.
I must say the, the writing is very beautiful and very evocative. Um, and suddenly it, uh, it kind of takes us into the space of, uh, you know, the innocence of discovering a first, uh, a first friend, right? I mean, in a world where we're venturing out and, and how it stays with you. I think, I think he captured it very beautifully and profoundly. Um, of course, uh, as a, and, and also as a person who grew up uh, as an outsider myself, uh, uh, being a gay man in Malaysia, so, uh, this story also, when I read it, I, it also took me to a place where I was, I was reminded of the kind of uh, amb ambiguity and ambivalence of uh, our early friendships where sometimes it does feel so strong and so close and intimate, right? Mm. I mean, that, that I almost uh, wondered whether there uh, was going to be a queer reading in this, uh, uh, this portrayal uh, and whether it's deliberately left uh, ambiguous um, because it's, it's so pure and so, so innocent in this uh, description mm -hmm. of friendship. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very yeah. beautiful. Thank you. Yeah, but I, I, I think I mean, yeah. really much. I think it's really much the idea of 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 an outsider or oneself feeling estranged with the with the world, and then having a companion, and and, and I and, and that's what he describes so deeply and so nice in that, um, you know, that you don't have to be afraid of the world because you have someone with you. You're not alone. Um, and and this is probably um, in in the way that he he also describes the deepest need why we need friends so we don't have to face um that mass outside there alone we 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 it, it's a, it, it's a little easier if you know someone on your side right that you can rely on or well, that you also can be the one um to give strength to another person which also feels good for you and and i think one of the things that uh struck me about the text as well and and it actually resonates with your photos uh very much it's also the fragility of friendship, right? I mean, you could, you can lose it, it can end, um, and but there is also a space for reflection and memory, uh, and just the way photographs are sometimes a way of holding a memory, uh, holding a moment, right? Um, the memory of a friendship stays uh, in that same uh, ambivalent space. And, and I'm thinking of how photograph, memory, friendship occupies this kind of uh, space of hold, holding that space uh, in our memory to, to represent the, that yearning, that loneliness, that fragility as well. Thank you. You mean like how, how photography can be a mean to, um, to, to strengthen a friendship, to remember it and, and like to, to hold it? So yeah, to, and also to grieve, and also to grieve it, grieve for it, to memorialize it, and I and I and I and, and so the thing I'm just saying is that I, I appreciate that your photographs are not uh, made in a way that is a statement about what friendship is, right? I mean, it's and that's not your intention. You are you're not here to spell out uh, this uh, propaganda about friendship. Right? You are here to 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 offer a space. Uh, that could go either way for for reflection of, of friendships and I, and I, just just as the way friendship is fragile, you know, in that sense. Yeah. So no, I, I, mean, I appreciate we, we are that. not yeah we we are not more experts on friendship than anyone else in this world. I mean, we are just experiencing it directly, like everyone else. We we might have just taken three weeks in our lifetime to actually really reflect deep on it and make photos about it. That's something that not most people do, but still doesn't make us experts in what that is. We are still riddled about all this, right? We have the same questions. We don't have any answers, but we are, allow ourselves to, to ask these questions in public by doing a project like that and by publishing a book and then hopefully also relating to other people who say, yeah, actually, I, I have the same feelings or I, I, I come up with the same questions about this thing, but we, we don't know the answer. I mean, <laughs> and we do not even know if we are experts about, uh, of our own friendship, you know, I mean, you would tend to, to say, okay, but this, we can really, 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 this, we really, really know, but, um, That's yeah. True. And, 
Pauline has a question, but I think you already answered that question earlier about how your passion evolved in the process of creating this book, uh, the Discover Another Side of Your Friendship. Um, and, and that Hadri added, uh, I thought, a very beautiful comment uh, that I think we can close this uh, meeting with if you have further reflection to it. Uh, he says, I like the landscape and the non-human photos as it allows space for me to reconnect and be reflective to our most important and neglected friendship with our own selves. Thank you. That's beautiful. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, we answered the question that how, how our friendship evolved during the process, I guess. Uh, but um, we can say it again as well. So we are still close friends. <laughs> um, of course, we argue, you know, uh, uh, some uh, uh, sometimes. But, and he's a pain um, in the ass. Yeah. No, I mean, but that's just normal, right? I mean, they, um, what kind of what kind of what kind of good relationship any any good relationship also romantic or family one is is always just nice and beautiful i mean um it's just the way life is right it's it's ups and downs and then once you really fight you it's also a mean of realizing again how much someone means to you if you're about to lose him or if you're really fighting with him you always feel like oh no but i that's when you when you get so emotional. It's because you you yeah. feel so so. It's because um, you care. It's because you care. If you don't care, you know, it, you're not close friends. And if you care, it can be bad feelings as well. But uh, I mean, still you have feelings, and it's it's you feel it's important, you know. And I have to. We have to argue about that because because it's not. Uh, yeah, it's not egal. What is egal? Yeah, it's, it, <laughs> it does matter. Yeah, it does matter. Yes. Yeah. I, 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 love, I love that note. Uh, uh, you, we argue because we care. And I, and I, I wish that this is, uh, of, of anything, I wish this is something we all can learn in. And, and I, I thank you for this, uh, this book that is meditation on... Uh, mm. Is the spectrum, ambiguity, and potential of friendship, uh, and also then the potential of photography in in this journey and in under, in capturing for us this uh, the journey of ourselves in the world. So thank you to uh, Toby and you, uh, and thanks for having us. Yeah. Thank you, man. And and also we must uh, acknowledge. Uh, uh, Mary Sweet uh, at the background uh, helping us uh, kind of paste all the comments from Facebook and also William who's turning the page for us. Uh, thank you. Thank you to thank everyone you. behind the scene uh, and Gerard Budaya for, and, and Goethe Institute for bringing all this together and of course to Obscura uh, yes. for yeah. making this happen. Any final words uh, from the two of you? No. I just no, uh, thank say you. thanks to all the oh. people that you that you that you mentioned uh, um, for, for making this possible. We're very happy about it, and I'm also very happy that some of our workshop participants that we talked about later earlier were actually in the in the in the Facebook chat now. So there's also friendship that that um, still is going on. That's very beautiful, and um, yeah, thanks everyone for making this possible, and uh, have a great uh, rest of your festival. I hope it's going to be a great yes. success. Stay healthy. Uh, yeah, we're good. Okay, and, thank uh, William, do you want to tell us how we can get hold of this book? Hmm. Okay, so the first thing, a confession is we, well, the Gerd Blair Bookshop doesn't actually stock copies of it, but I believe that Goethe Institute uh, would have uh, more complete answers. So the Goethe Institute has been, of course, incredibly supportive of um, um, the festival and all the movements, you know, I mean, like cultural movements uh, going on in Malaysia and has been for a very long time now. So um, I said the best, so we would have to speak to Goethe about it again, but uh, um, but yeah, I think that's most what I can say for now. Cool. Okay. All right. Okay, okay. thanks. Thanks so much again, everyone. So, Thank you.
Thank you. Bye bye. And many congratulations again on the thank you on the award. Thank you. Okay. Thank, thank you. you. Bye bye. 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 Okay, okay, good. And stopping the recording.